trying to lock down job opportunities in their neighborhoods, North Omaha contractors threaten legal action and civil disobedience if they're not heard. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Brandi Peterson. Contractors and neighborhood leaders tell Mayor Jean Stothert enough is enough. They tell her they want to work on the $2 billion combined sewer overflow project. At KTV News, what's Chevin's Kyle Gravelin, live with our big story at 6. Kyle? Yeah, Rob, and beside me is part of that major CSO project. We're at 16th and Nicholas. North Omaha contractors say they want a part of that major project because it could help alleviate poverty and consequently violence and crime in the area. Mayor Stothard says she hears their concerns but needs time to develop the right plan. A great missed opportunity. Standing now, united look Monday in North Omaha, and that's contractors for here, looking for work they know is out there. Preston Love, speaking on behalf of the United Minority Contractors Alliance, says the city's many projects lately should have meant great opportunities for North Omaha contractors, but instead have only received what he calls lip service, leading to more neighborhood problems. This is economics 101, ladies and gentlemen. Where there's poverty, there's crime, and there's violence. Love argues for North Omahans, getting to work in their area could curb those problems. And they're ready to work now. Larry Helm Sr. made a living doing construction here and wants others to have the same opportunity. North Omaha contracts can build a city if you put them all together. That's how knowledgeable we are. Mayor Gene Stothard says Omaha's Small and Emerging Business Program, or SEB, is here for these purposes. But contractors need to come downtown, sign up, and get certified. She noted $11 million in contracts went to SEB certified businesses in 2014. Last year, we had about 11% in the last half of the year of the uh, contracts that the city awarded that went to minority businesses. Stothard just asks for patience. It's not lip service. It's taking time to develop a good plan to organize it so it will work. It's she stresses partnership on this issue, but if common ground isn't found, Love says legal action could be forthcoming. And I don't know how to say it on TV, but we're not playing on this. We're not going away. Now, a lot of talk earlier today centered around the bidding process for public projects like this one. Contractors saying their companies are too small to make million dollar bids on these larger projects. Mayor Stothard saying that there are parts in all of these projects where those projects can kind of be broken down, therefore, smaller bids can be made. But stressed that these companies need to have the capabilities, personnel, and equipment to carry this out. And of course, they need to be certified. All right, Kyle Gravelin reporting live here at 18th and Nicholas. Thanks.